Hey guys, today I'm going to walk you through the process of installing and patching two main bugs that are known on the Android operating system, the master key and the 9695860 bug. Let's check it out. Wolver Dusko gives us an article on the XDA portal referencing a process that patches two main vulnerabilities that are currently known for the Android operating system. The process was put together by XDA recognized contributor Tungs20, and he uses the exposed framework to be able to install and run his uh, patch. And he has a separate application called the Master, Master Key Dual Fix module that will help us do this. If we open up the thread, he gives us a little bit of an explanation as far as what the Master Key bug is, where uh, some of the fixes have already been incorporated, as, far, as well as the 96. 95860 bug that's already been uh, fixed by Google and using uh, the you know the, the commit uh, reference in here but the main concern is obviously is how long will this take for it to come to your device so the other thing he also explains to us obviously is the process is very simple you need to have the exposed framework install on your device he gives us a link on where to download that and install it he also gives us a link to go into the Google Play Store to download his application. The master key dual fix application is listed by the developer Tungs20, listed on the 23rd of July. First thing we need to do before we're able to install the fix on your device is to have the exposed framework installed. If you've already seen the uh, video that Kevin put out last week regarding uh, using the security or spoofing some things on your device, he installed the exposed framework on his device first. So download that from the thread and I'll provide the information in the description and have the installer installed. Once you have it, uh, the application installed, Installed, install it, reboot the device, and then once you have that uh, rebooted, make sure you can double check. You'll see which one is active, which one is included, and you can install the APK that you download from the XDA thread. And the APK itself is very simple, very easy to, uh, to actually launch. Uh, and here it is. Once you install it, it's going to give you the instructions telling you that you need to go into the exposed framework, activate it, and reboot the device. I've already installed this, but the main thing you want to do is when you come back, you'll be able to see that it's running. So we'll go into the exposed framework installer, go under modules, and then in initially you'll have this thing unchecked. You'll hit check. Um, I've already had, obviously, greenified the application installing, and I have app settings, so that's why I have multiple modules running. Um, once you have those installed, you're able to go back in, find the actual application, go in, and restart the device after you uh, you check it. Once you restart the device, you'll get the option here that says the patch is active. You should be protected from the two X vulnerabilities or the two exploits, um, and therefore your device is already uh, set. And these two should not be uh, any more options available. And then what happens is because of the framework's installation, every time I restart my, my device, this gets reactivated. So it's always protected till Samsung or uh, depending on who your carrier is, provides the update to directly into you know to incorporate this update. At least CyanogenMod definitely has this already built in, so you don't have to worry about it. But if you're running touch with such as myself, God knows when the update is going to come to our devices. This is the best way to do this. So there is a main benefit for rooting your device outside of just rooting it to be able to access it and you know either move uh, bloatware. It's also to help you protect your device and developers providing us with a lot of good options and I hope you guys like this. This will patch the two main known bugs that are uh, currently uh, bugging Android. Uh, the main thing is obviously again you need to be rooted so if you're not you're definitely at the operators, your, your phone operators mercy depending on when they do push out the fix for this. Uh, the other thing you want to keep in mind is uh, the exposed framework is something that you definitely want to be careful when you're installing. Don't necessarily modify too many things. It gives you the ability to change things in your system without having to go in and manually modify smaller files um, and uh, to be able to do certain things. So it makes it simple and easy for you to, to install mods on your device and change things such as you know DPI settings, uh, on-screen time, uh, full screen, uh, you know, different options. There are different things you can do with the exposed framework. Um, and if you guys are interested in that, please let me know. I can definitely do an app review for you guys for the exposed framework. Uh, it's not an app, but it's more, you know, as, as again, it's a framework. Uh, other than that, uh, let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions or any comments. Hopefully this is an easy, quick step process for you. Uh, and um, like and subscribe. And as usual, if you're going to the XCA DEF CON, please check the description and the, uh, the information in the description below. Uh, and please like and subscribe on my channel. And I will see you guys next week.